broken record, but those are the right plays. The difference is you don't have shooters stepping in the shots. Durant fouled by Robertson, then has words. They're going to count the basket. Now Durant and Robertson go forehead to forehead. Durant still talking to him. The officials getting in the way. Durant obviously felt the foul was a little over the line. The former teammates jawing at each other. He couldn't have been complaining about how hard that foul was. And that's not a hard foul. He fell hard into the stanchion, but right. That's not, not hard. Not at all. Now he said something right after. Then they got nose to nose. The officials breaking it up. A technical foul has been called on Andre Iguodala. You see Westbrook pushing Robertson away. Mark Davis just explained to us there was double technical on Robertson and Durant. They offset each other, so no free throws there. Westbrook is shooting the technical on Iguodala. The foul, personal foul down the other end, and the goaltend counted the basket. There's nothing wrong with that foul, though. Not at all. I mean, I don't even know how you can take offense at that. I think it was more, again, of Robertson said something to him as they got up, and then that continued. Trying to dig it out and on the doorstep. They missed about five of those tonight. The Lakers have not been able to get it. And Howard with the elbows and Kobe was defending and some words exchanged. And this goes back to what was the story when the two were wearing the same uniform. Although they never played on the floor together. I love it. Little bad blood's always good, huh? Yeah, it's all good. I mean, comments coming out from Dwight Howard saying he wasn't scared of Kobe and Kobe being very demanding as a teammate. And look at the arms being swung here as the rebound is secured by Dwight Howard. There's one little jab. There's two. There's two elbows here. Hodges for three. Pippen able to hit on the rebound. Why Pippen should be alone like that under the basket. Has to mystify Pat Riley. 16 for Pippen. Jordan leading Chicago with 18 points. Here starts the three. Oakley hit the floor and a loose ball foul dog. Well, Pippen and Oakley had some words. It looked like Pippen was trying to help Oakley up, but he pushed him aside. I mentioned Gerald's poor shooting tonight. He comes off that four for 17 in Portland the other evening. Another look at that hustle by Oakley. Pippen was happy, Charles wasn't. Scotty put the uh, ball in Charles' stomach with some impact, and I don't think that uh, Charles Oakley... He said to Kevin Durant, I'm coming, I'm coming. The timeout was called, words exchanged. Kept saying, I'm coming. And his Cantor off the bench. Having some words as well. Well, I still think there's a ways to go before we're going to see that reconciliation. There's some words being tossed back and forth from the Heat bench to the Cavaliers bench, which should set up a rather interesting night Monday in Cleveland. Rodney Magruder obviously getting taunted by somebody, and I would guess J.R. Smith on yeah. that Cleveland bench. It's J.R. Smith. They're holding J.R. Smith back. And J.R. Smith is 
saying some things to Dion Waiters. A very interesting response by Cleveland after getting blown out here in Miami by 28. This equals for the third time the widest margin of victory ever for a Heat team over Cleveland. And Tony, I find this to be a very curious response by the Cavaliers. Why be agitated now? It's really not the Cavaliers. It's J.R. Smith. City go against me every time I'm in the street. I hear yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances. But that's a nigga with some counterfeits. But now I'm counting this. Parmesan with my accountant lives. In fact, I'm down in this. You say with my boo, baby.